Hello and welcome to this film which is all about the electrolysis practical that you'll be doing in class. Now again it's quite a simple experiment, it won't take a huge amount of time. Um, here's the equipment that you need. You've got a power pack, you've got a couple of leads, a couple of crocodile clips on the end of the leads there, a small beaker about 50 millilitres, some copper sulphate, again the concentration here is not that important. I've got one mole per litre. You need a strip of copper, which is going to be one of your electrodes, and you've got some metal object. I've got a spatula here, um, but you'll probably be using a coin or a key or any metal object that you might have. Okay, so here's how we're going to set things up. We're going to connect our two leads to our power pack via the DC terminals. That's very important. We're going to set our power pack to 2 volts to begin with. Now, Connecting the electrodes, it's very important that we do this the right way around. So find your negative electrode. That's the one connected to the black terminal on your power pack. That is going to be connected to the object that you're going to try and plate with copper. Okay, so I would attach it to my spatula in this case. The crocodile clip that's on the positive terminal, that needs to be att attached to your copper electrode. Okay, so that's the way to connect those. Don't need to turn your power pack on yet. You're going to roughly half fill your beaker with copper sulfate. Okay, the exact volume is not important, but about half full, deep enough so that you can submerge your object in it, at least partially. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the two electrodes into our beaker. It's very important that they don't touch in the solution, so you probably need to hold them while you're doing the electrolysis. Turn your power pack on, you probably get your partner to do this. Wait a few minutes and then pull out your object that you've been plating and see after you've wiped it off with a bit of paper towel, see if you can scratch the copper that you've just put onto it. See if you can scratch that off with your fingernail. Then we're going to do a very, very similar thing. We're going to put our electrodes in the solution again. You might want a clean part of the metal that you haven't plated yet, so you might want to turn it round. Okay, this time you're going to try plating it on a different voltage. So we're going to turn our power pack up to 8 volts this time. And that will cause things to plate quite a lot more quickly. And at the end of it, again, we're going to take it out, we're going to wipe our object clean, and we're going to see how difficult it is to scrape the copper off with our fingernail. And as far as safety is concerned in this experiment, there's really not an awful lot to concern ourselves with. I guess the most important thing is to make sure that the electrodes don't touch when you don't want them to, okay? Because that will just create a short circuit in your circuit and could lead to damage in your power pack. Okay, so we're going to try and avoid any short circuits. So quite a simple experiment there. Um, if you've got any questions about it, then please make sure you ask your teacher before you start. 